Hello, my beautiful sun rays. Today I will be doing my nighttime skincare routine paired with a little music mix. So whenever I do my skincare routine at night, I make it a thing. Um, I like to put some music on, maybe light a candle, an incense, because you know, it, it takes me some time. Not some time, but it's not like super quick. So I like to make it a moment and end my night on a good note. So today I'm going to show you what I do in my steps throughout my skincare routine. That was weird to say. Today I will show you. Today I will show you the steps of my skincare routine in the evening. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. I made this playlist from songs off of SoundCloud because, you know, can't use the real music. Um, and all of these were free downloads, so I will show, I mean, I will put these songs in the box below. So you can listen to them if you want. So for my first step, I like to do a cleansing oil. I usually do this when I'm wearing makeup, but days I'm not. Sometimes it's a nice way to relax and give yourself a face massage, but usually when I'm just wearing makeup. But it's okay to do it when you're not wearing makeup. If not, I would just go on with this cleanser. I just go straight in with whatever toner I'm using and I'm I don't know how to pronounce it I don't I don't Caudalie Paris so if you're French let me know how you say this or if you're not and you just are aware of how you pronounce this let me know but it is a lotion tonic oh see I'm reading the French way it's a moisturizing toner I only use moisturizing toner again dry skin type um, I need all the hydration that I can get. I really want to recommend that anybody uses a strong astringent toner. Hydrating is usually the best for everybody. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not about the way you set my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. You can get away. Palm trees, beach views, for the never day. Alrighty, once I've toned, I then go in with my serum. So what I've been loving, and I've been seeing a lot of really good results. You guys probably can't tell if you don't see me every day. I look at my skin every day, but my dark marks, besides this guy, who's actually getting better, but my dark marks have definitely been lighting up, but it's the pharmacy honeymoon glow aha resurfacing night serum so again serums they are thinner viscosity so they can penetrate your skin deeper or at a deeper level um so you only need a little bit a little goes a long way so i do oh that just squirt all of this i do a little one two one and a half pumps whatever you want to call it and then i gently massage that into my skin big time follow up and this does have an AHA in it so I make sure that I use a sunscreen with it in the morning because 
you don't want to your skin's sensitive and you don't want to damage it any further is what I'm trying to say now that I've applied my serum I am gonna go in with a thick occlusive moisturizer because I want to seal in all of that I lied I'm not going in that first then I have something that's like a serum for my lips um it is the pout protector from complex beauty and I literally it's a it's a lip balm whatever but I think of it as a serum for my lips because it's a thinner viscosity and a chapstick so it's going to penetrate deeper into my lips anyway so I put this on first <laughs> Remember, smaller molecules first. Once I've applied that serum, then it's time to go in with a moisturizer. I'm gonna use a thick occlusive moisturizer. This is the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. Milk Moisturizer, I am obsessed with it. Don't be like me and contaminate your products. I've been using my finger. It didn't come with a spatula or anything, so I used the back of my Pinky. Let's go with I probably don't need this much, but I really like my moisturizer to be thick. And you want to make sure you use your moisturizer after you use something with an exfoliating acid in it. I might get a ticket tonight. Trying to make it to the done my face moisturizer now I need to do my lip moisturizer then next I like to go in with another occlusive thick moisturizer slash mask they are, it's the Fursali unicorn antioxidant lip mask it's like an overnight mask or before you do your makeup however you want to use it but I like to use it at night to again that serum put that on first now I'm sealing that in with this we've got that on so my lips are looking very moisturized and plump honey rub it in it goes on in like a unflattering waxy whitish pinkish looking color just keep rubbing it in there. and last but not least when I remember to do it I have literally just taken some castor oil put it in a little a mascara bottle that I got from Amazon I hope the camera focused on I go in with my eyelashes. So if a lot of you guys don't know, castor oil helps or promotes hair growth. So I use that on my eyelashes and my eyebrows. My eyebrows aren't bad, but you know, maintain, maintain. Eyelashes ain't bad, but I'm gonna grow, grow more. So I do that. And last but not least, since I got eczema, I'm going with some Eucrisa. Talk to your dermatologist. But yes, um, this is my skin, my nighttime skincare routine. Oh, I can play all of my stuff.